Welcome to the Cedric Live Show. We're shooting from Naguru Skies. Today we're going to be talking film. And with me today we have Maureen Nancha uh, Mona. Yeah. Uh, she's a producer, uh, an actress. Mm. Is there anything else you want to add? <laughs> you know, when you go and then it's a hustle, I know. No, I think right. you basically said it all, but I'm also a certified fitness instructor. A certified fitness instructor. Yeah. And I'm here with uh, Sharp Sewali. Uh, how do I describe you, man? Uh, director extraordinaire? How do you uh, do this? <laughs> director is fine. <laughs> director is fine? Director, I write. I'm an editor as well. And, well, you sort of, because of the industry, you sort of learn to do a, a, a bunch of other things. Yes. Um, yeah, so I do a bunch of other things, but, but my metier is really directing. <coughs> directing? Yes. You know, quite recently you just directed uh, um, 27 Guns. Yes, uh, I co-directed that with uh, Natasha Karujide. Yes, how did that go? Intense. It was? Eh? It was nine months of hard work, hard labor. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I came for one part of the shoot, yeah. uh, one day, and it, it didn't yeah. look like it was uh, a walk in the park. It's not a walk Actually, in the park. Actually, I think you were in the park. You we was, were, we you were, were somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we were, we spent the majority of our time out in the bush because the story yes. plays out in, 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 in the bush, really, yes. which is where the, the NRA spent a lot of their time um, doing all kinds of espionage things. Yes. Yeah. Well, they, they got there eventually, right? Yes, they so did. I, I guess uh, we won't dwell too much on that. But what else have you done? I mean, you've, you've, you've done some other productions. Uh, I've been hearing your name a lot, you know, uh, in, on, on, on past productions. Uh -huh. But I'm not going to speculate here. You're going to tell us. Yeah. You know. Well, um, I... Jeez, where, where to begin? Nairobi. Done quite a few. <laughs> done quite a few Okay, let's do it like this. <laughs> yes. Let's work backwards. Mm -hmm. Where did it all begin? In the, bin, in the in Bening, the Bening. Um, yeah. it, it started in London, okay. um, which is where I, I, did, I, I went to film school. Okay. Um, before that, I sort of had, had gotten it very interested in writing. Okay. Um, and I was in the States at the time. Yes. Um, so I just picked up a book and, and interested myself in writing and started writing. Then I moved back to London and I bumped into a producer who was like, uh, I'd finished my first screenplay and they loved what they read and they insisted that I direct it um, and I'm, I was like I'm not a director and so the next thing I know is that they went out and signed me up for a directing course at Rain Dance, and they said here we go signed you up you're attending and that's that and so I went to Rain Dance. I did my my short course on directing mm -hmm. um, and we got very close to making the film but it was it, it was one of those turbulent it was a turbulent financial time in Europe and yes. the United States of America so so that fell through um, and then about two years later about a year later I moved back to Uganda which was 2010 okay um, and I just delved right into doing commercials and you know short films and stuff like that so done quite a few of those um, including an award-winning short film uh, which starred um, Anne Kansime. It was, I think, my first short film. It was called uh, Guna mm -hmm. and, and then I moved to Nairobi for a little bit where I did um, a few TV shows. Okay. Um, which, which are now on Mnet, I think. Um, like which one? There's something called One in a Million. One in a Million. Yeah, I think I've seen it, yes. Yeah, and then there's another TV show called Anti Boss which is a comedy based on, on house helps, really. And who really is the boss in the home? Uh, yeah. Uh, is that, that's, that's the premise of it, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I never thought of it like that. Maybe, yeah. maybe that is the case. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, commercials, documentaries, and, and so forth. What about you, Mona? I, 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 you know, I feel the spirit. Uh, I, I met you the other day, and you were telling me about some things that you're working on. Uh, so where did it start for you? You know, where did this all begin? Oh, this whole wow. film business? Uh, I think it started way back again, 2008, when I went for an audition at um, Trend Studios. That's Mariam Dagire. Yes. And um, <clears throat> I just managed to, managed to land a, a, a role, um, supporting, supporting role. And we were about 10,000 people that had gone to audition. And... Um, yeah, that's why it started with Down This Road I Walk and uh, I managed This is as an actress, right? Yes, as an okay. actress. And um, as, as time went by, I, um, 
I did a, a little bit of modeling and then I travel left the country and uh, that's when I managed to do my uh, fitness course and then I came back to Uganda but then um, I felt like I didn't want to do much of uh, acting this time because I felt like we had a lot of gaps here and there everyone is an actress everyone is an actor and um, I said you know what why, why don't I try out producing like film producing and uh, I have Right now, I just produced the show. It's a film talk show. It's called The Real. Every good film must have a good story. It's going to be so much fun just jumping around and acting oblivious to the whole world. Biggest of all, when you are nominated alongside Yak Chan. The first thing is what I just said, that we need to consolidate our film market. We're going to take over Africa. We are going to take over the world. Every single person on earth has a story to tell. The Ugandan film industry is heading for the moon. There are young men and women who are making bombastic films today. <laughs> Oh, you mean you, like in direct competition with me? <laughs> <laughs> You're in direct competition? Are you, Mona? Are Are you, you sitting Mona? on my show? Are you talking Mona? About, <laughs> talking <laughs> about <laughs> talk shows? Did you know that your show is Cedric Live? Yeah, okay. I yeah, just okay, said okay, my show enough, is right. the real But you know, competition, competition is healthy, you know? It so, is. So, you know, you get to watch mine and you do better than me and I get to watch yours ah. and I try and do better than you. Yeah, you, you try. You still yeah. don't get to my level. Oh, so, anyway. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> anyway, we just Shame. did a... <laughs> We just she did just uh, shade on my show. In, on my show. <laughs> on your show. Huh? We just did, um, I, I host and produce it. And actually, Shop is also on the project. I have a, um, I have a good team on the show. And right now, we just produced about 15 episodes. And the show is basically a talk show. And we sit down with uh, most of the uh, people in our film, fraternity or film industry. And we just get to know their journeys throughout the film business, just like we're doing right now with you. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, this is the real, right? It's called the real. It's the, called the real. Yeah, yes. and I, I think you guys have shown me some clips. Looks uh -huh. very interesting. Yes. It's well done, mm -hmm. and I'm sure Thank it will you. be well received. You know, I, 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 uh, I was actually jealous of some of the, the, <laughs> the creativity on the show. Uh, but I guess, you know, uh, you know, copy and paste is not such a bad thing. Yeah, you know, well, so if you see the same luck. set, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 on our show, don't 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 get worried. But uh, no, I'm, I'm joking. I'm not yeah. going to copy it, your it, show. It's you okay. Know. You can it's copy right. whatever you want to copy. <laughs> like like <laughs> I said, you won't get to our level. Oh. We we'll keep growing. She just keeps <laughs> growing. She just keeps <laughs> growing. She came with a bag. Yeah, she came with a bang. We'll keep oh my goodness! I'm going to have to yeah. have a drink after this. <laughs> so, um, generally speaking, you know, we've. I mean, all of us, I think, have been involved in film. Maybe. You, Maybe I haven't been as involved as you guys have been, but I've had my own experiences. And, um, you know, going back to discussions I've had, what is your, maybe I'll start with the lady, what yes. is your opinion of the film industry in Uganda? Wow. Uh, I think, I think uh, the Uganda film industry is growing at a tremendous pace. And I also think there's still a lot that we have to do or that we have not done, a lot that we have not tackled as yet. But then people are still moving forward. And um, I still think we still have a lot to learn. We actually have learned, but probably we've not understood or we've not put in, in um, we've not practiced what we're learning or, it's uh, basically, I think the film industry is evolving, it's growing, and um, there's a lot of things that have to be done, changed here and there. Give me for an example. For, like for example, for example um, we have a lot of egos in the industry, <laughs> like the people who are in the industry. We have a lot like of egos. You come on my, on my show and throw shade, yeah, like that. <laughs> Like, like listen, I, 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 listen, for example, she came with a bag full of shade. <laughs> yes. Now she's just taking it out. Yeah, one by like one. Shade yeah. one, shade two. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's their Sh month. It's, eh? it's, it's their it's month. We're going to keep quiet. March, 
It's ladies' month. Yep. You take you take whatever they give exactly. and you just you wait till April. It. You, you asked for it. my opinion and yeah. I'm giving my opinion. Okay, when, sorry. When we get aside, when we get to Mr. Talking, Sewali, he will give his opinion. You were talking about egos. Is, egos, yes. yes. And I feel like this is something that has affected so much of uh, so much of our work that we are doing. Yeah. A lot of people want to do films by themselves. I, for example, just worked on on uh, a shop's project, the reporter, and when you get down to the logistics, it is not one person that did the movie. It is a collaboration. You know, you can be able to get certain things from maybe Cedric has cameras, Sharp is a director, Mona is an actress, so and so and so, and then you put together a good piece. Yeah. But what people are doing lately is everyone wants to do <coughs> their own film. Yes. And at the end of the day, something comes out to them. It is fully backed to us. It is yeah. half backed. And you wonder, where is all the professionalism that they talk about that is in the industry? Yeah. Because if, if you, for example, don't have funds for a project, and then you have people like Solo Studios that can give you, if you speak to them, that can give you the equipment. equipment. Yes. And then you have Cedric that can get you a hotel, what, uh, you yes. know, he probably has a house that he can provide, but we don't do that. Everyone wants to do their own thing, and at the end of the day, it comes out. So you think one of the issues is that our failure, and I don't think it's just film, I think it's, it's again an African problem, you know, our inability to work together as, yes, as a cohesive unit yes. for one objective. Uh -huh. Everybody wants to be top dog. Exactly. And then what happens is that everything then shatters because yeah. conflict is created. You know, it's not just in film. Yeah. I think it's in politics, it's mm. in, uh, in the economy, it's in... Uh, if you look at certain uh, ethnic groups, I'll give you an example. The Chinese uh, community in Uganda will always work together. Yeah. Uh, the Asian community <coughs> will work together. Mm. The only community that doesn't work together is our community. <laughs> is you our know, community. We, we, we don't yes. seem to be able to to galvanize ourselves as a unit. Yeah. Uh, and, and if you and look at even uh, where the big movie industries are, I mean, after the United States, of course, you have places like Bollywood. Bollywood is a creation yeah. of the Indian economy, you know, them working together mm. to create their own product and consume their own product. Yeah. It helps that there's a, almost a billion, or maybe even a billion plus mm. uh, Indians, but the fact that they're able to, to work together Mm. For a, a common for a cause, common cause yes. is, uh, you know, that's what we need to do. So let me ask Sharp. So yes. Sharp, what is your view on the, you know, I mean, you're, you're, you're trained, you went to film school. So what is uh, your view on the Ugandan film industry? Uh, what Mona said. <laughs> <laughs> what Mona said, um, but... Again, I agree that the, it, it's growing as exponentially. It's, it's, um, it's encouraging to see yeah. that we are finally getting to a place where we are celebrating um, our own stories. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I, I love, especially about, about um, I think it's Mira Naya, and she, she, she's Ugandan. She lives here in Uganda part, you know, part, part of the year. Yes. And she started um, an, a film fraternity or an organization called Maisha. Yes. And their tagline is, if we don't tell our stories, who will? Mm -hmm. And one of the things I'm excited to see is that we're beginning to embrace that and we're beginning to tell our stories. I respect men like, you know, I, I respect people like Wakaliwood. Yes. You know, um, yes. they take what they have and, and they use it and make something out of it. I mean, you go to these videos on YouTube and you see guys fabricating their own machine guns or fabricating their own jibs because they can't afford to go to a big um, you know grips company to give yeah, them grips so they're yeah. building their own grips and I think that's quite ingenious that's that's very encouraging um, on, on the downside though I, I, I feel like one of the things that's happening or not happening is that we everybody wants to be a certain a certain type of person. They want to be a director, they want to be a producer, they want to be a writer. A writer. Yeah. Um, but when you really get down to the crux of it, they, most of the people who are saying they are these things don't know jack about it. Yes. They ha haven't studied their craft. Um, and for me, it's one of the things that, that irks me. <laughs> Like, like to the core. Somebody claiming Somebody's, to be something. Yeah, yes. someone says they're a writer and then they send you a script and it's, it's, on, it's, it's in Microsoft Word. 
and it's okay for it to be in Microsoft Word, but... It's not supposed to be in Microsoft Word. Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be something else. <laughs> what is it supposed to be? Well, there are software programs. And Don't that, worry, I'm um, never yeah. going to send you a script. So. <laughs> no, there are software programs for that, but, yes. but that's semantics. But really, when you really think about it, when you read through the script, they haven't even got the basics of it. Yes. And they think it's ready, you know. Um, They're just telling you a story, yeah. basically. Yeah. And then the other thing is that I think <coughs> we haven't comprehended what it actually means to be, to be filmmakers. Um, and to understand that it's not just about telling stories, there's also a business side of it. Yes. And if we don't write good stories and make good stories, nobody's going to want to watch them. And in the end, you're going to end up spending, I don't know, 200, and 200 million shillings on a, on a film that is going to sit on your shelf because nobody's going to watch it. Yeah. Uh, or if they see it once, they'll never want to see it again. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the things that I'm, think, I'm, I'm seeing is that we need to to allow ourselves to submit more to the process of what it takes to actually make good film. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, a question I'd like to pose to both of you, and I think we've discussed this before, is uh, let's say you have ticked the boxes. Mm -hmm. You have gone to production school, you are a producer, you are a writer, um, you are a director, or whatever you may be, and you put together and you get these people together and you produce a film. Yeah. Um, like both of you have been involved in, in, in various productions. The, the, what I try to understand, and uh, I've even had discussions with Uganda Communications Commission, where, where does this production go? What now? You know, if you, if, you, if you go and invest this 200 million, you've ticked the boxes. Let's say you tick the boxes. Yeah. Producer, director, actors, whatever it may be, everybody in line, okay? Where does it go? It's a chick, for me, it's always a bit complex. Yeah. Do you find the market before you produce it? I think Some there are, there are cases yeah. where sorry. <laughs> go on, let's let's go. Start with the lady. I, I I think what we have, if I could go a little bit away from what you're saying, I think what we have now we have business uh, filmmakers, and then we have target filmmakers, and then we have. Just the when, when the we get back, we're going to stop right there and cut to commercials. You tell me the difference between <laughs> business filmmakers and target filmmakers. Okay. We'll be right back. Yo, what's up? My name is Bebe Kuhu from Uganda, number one artist. Big up to all my fans and friends. Member Gaga Met taking over. Right now you're watching the Cedric live show on UBC. So you stay tuned right here. Welcome back to the Cedric live show. We're here with uh, Mona and uh, Sharp Sewali. We're talking film. Now, before we went to break, you were telling me the difference between... Uh, business filmmakers and target filmmakers. <coughs> now, the first one was easy to understand. That now, the second one, what is a target filmmaker? Actually, before you ask that question, I was going to add, then the seasonal filmmakers. Seasonal filmmakers. Yeah. There are some people here in Uganda that do films targeting a certain festival or certain okay. festivals. Like for them, all that they're doing, they're doing a film for um, Uganda Film Festival. And that's it. Like. Now, what would be the point of that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, like there's some people who are just like that and most of these people are actually the people that are right, that are forefronting our film industry. Okay. And someone does a film, goes to this festival, that festival, that festival and tomorrow like Shop say, someone comes up and they're like, oh, I'm a director, a writer, a producer and... These are now you, these, this is what you call the target filmmakers mm -hmm. yes. who are targeting specific yeah, events. Yeah, they're targeting specific events and right. for them it is not a business in a certain way. Yet, for me, I personally think it should be a business much as most people do it for the passion and, um, uh, well, but some people like, 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 uh, like let's say Sharp. Yes. Uh, it's, 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 it's basically, it is both the creative bit of it, the passion, and it is a business at the end of the day. But then people think they're going to create a Facebook page and they're going to have so, 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 so many followers. Yes. And for them, that's the marketing business. It's their validation. It, 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 yeah. It is, it, it, it is valid for them. So just before and we go very far, what's the yeah. difference between those target ones and the seasonal ones? <laughs> what's the difference? The, uh, the target ones are the ones that I just told you. Like the ones who target, yeah, particular who target, events. Someone might, 
I'm in a group. Um, I'm sorry, whoever is watching, you know I'm in the group. And don't say people, the name of the group. I'm not, I'm not going to say Because we don't want to be, some me and Chab don't want to be <laughs> subjects yeah. of that group. Exactly, yeah. right? <laughs> yes. So um, I'm in a certain group and these people are doing a movie just because these Women's Day. Women's Day is coming when? Uh, March 8th? I think we should be asking you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, no. When is Women's Day coming? When is Women's Day? <laughs> um, well, um, when is Women's Day coming? And It's 8th of March. <clears throat> it's 8th of March. That's it's safe for us safe, to know that. Yeah. <laughs> and they wrote a script in four days, shot the movie in a week. Um, every, everyone that was on the movie, cast crew, is pro bono. And... The, the editing is done in a week. Um, so the movie is ready to premiere. So these are the kind of people that I talk about that are target. Like for them, their own target is the, is the uh, Women's Day, which, yeah. and their kind of uh, theme is on the gender balance. Yes. You know? So they feel the need to say what they have to say. And when I follow closely on what they're always talking about, they aren't talking about no marketing. They aren't talking about no getting no money out of the project, no. But they are looking at getting the money from the ticket sales, which we all know sometimes this does not work. You know, for a premiere, someone expects an invite, not to pay 100000 or 50000 to come and, you know, watch a movie that they're going to get in a few months on the shelves somewhere downtown. <laughs> so, Shab, what do you think? <laughs> um, your question was... About the exit. About the exit. Yes. Well, there are people who there are people who would, if, before you make make the film, you find the market for it. Yes. Um, there are people who have um, a number of films on their slate that they've written and they're on the shelf. Yeah, the scripts. And, yeah. yeah, the scripts and they've written and they're on the shelf and they need to find a market for it, depending on what the season is and depending on what is popular. Yes. Um, and then there are others that will you'll make the film. And then you find the market for it. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay, but I mean... The I, only challenge is that I think in, in Africa in general, we don't have much of a film market. Yes. So everything that we're making mostly winds up... If, if it winds up anywhere <coughs> at all, it winds up in, in, in Europe. Um, I, I know some friends of mine who, who, who do festival circuits. They've made short films and they do festival circuits all around the world just to... Because really short films and films are calling cards because um, there are other filmmakers who use them as calling cards to, to say that this is what I can do. And I would very much like to be a director in Hollywood. So some talent scout um, finds a film that Cedric has made and is like, hmm, this is a very unique voice. You know, yes. because every director has their voice. They yes. have a favorite subject, uh, favorite types of films to make and stuff like that. And, and depending on what the trends are in the world, they're always looking out for new voices and stuff like that. So that's what usually would end up happening. And what do you think the authorities can do? Um, you, there's Uganda, Uganda Communications Commission. Mm -hmm. um, I know they've been trying to be active. Mm -hmm. uh, they're doing this, they, they did the Uganda Film Festival yeah. for the sixth year. I've always said that they're not as uh, uh, they're not as visible mm. as they should be, because uh, many people don't know what they do within film. So, and I know they've helped a lot of people, some directly, some indirectly. Um, I didn't know there were things like uh, writing classes and producer classes, and you know, some you know, your uh, Omari Morocco was telling me that he was going to have a class there. I think they'd given the him the class, venue. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, and yet, you know, I'm sitting here, uh, and I didn't, know, I didn't know that was going to happen. Yeah. You know, and I consider myself to be an active social media user, uh, but I didn't know. You know, and if, okay, it's not that I'm doing anything, but, you know, if I had wanted to, to get involved in film, I think it's, it would be great for them to advertise all the good things they're doing yeah. um, and get people to subscribe as much as they can. To do the things that you talked about, like people claiming to be producers, but they're not really producers. Yeah. Claiming to be directors, but they're not really directors. Claiming to be writers, yeah. but they're sending you Word documents. Yeah. You know, that sort of thing. So, uh, I think that... Uh, it's, I'll never live that down, will I? Yeah, yeah, but uh, I don't know. I, I hope there's no one listening who sent you a Word document. Uh, no. You know, I don't think so. they, you know, they can take this person. In, yeah. You know, but anyways. 
If that's what no, they have I to do. I tell them, I do. <laughs> they don't send me a word document. Well, we have a discussion about it. Yes, usually. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I, w I, I think I've sent him a script and <laughs> he, he sent like, it back. I, I sent him a script and he was like, ah, Mona. You know, here I am trying to ask for his feedback. Yeah. I had read the script, the whole script. I think yes. it was about 94 pages. And it's like, I read about four pages, uh, but it was a hard read. That's his way of saying it. Can, I, can I answer your question, yes, Cedric? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I, think, I, I think the UCC is doing a great job already. Yes. Um, to provide a platform for filmmakers to exhibit their work is 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 a great step in the right direction. Yes, that encourages people to then to then make begin to actually explore their ability to make film. Um, there are there are groups um, that are available for filmmakers that that filmmakers are part of, um, like WhatsApp groups mostly, um, which I think could maybe take it a step further, and be, you know like we could start a or publication not. for example. Yes. Um, like, like in England, there's a there's a there's a paper called the stage. On the stage, when you buy when you go out and buy the stage, it will have all your auditions that are happening. It will have yes. all your, you know, whatever is going on in the film industry. So maybe that's a, a good step, you know, that maybe somebody could take. Um, maybe UCC could take. Um, I don't know. Um, and of course, to continue to facilitate things like like acting workshops, but also create partnerships. I think that. They're in a, uni in a u unique position to create partnerships between Uganda, Uganda and, and maybe Hollywood or yes, Pinewood yes, in yes. London and stuff. I know for sure that, that the Ken Kenya's Film Commission actively does that. They, they actively lobby um, Hollywood, for example, to shoot, you know, make films yeah, in Kenya. Yeah, as a film Kenya, destination. You know, yes. as a film destination. They market the country as a film destination. If we began to do that, to actively market Uganda as a film destination, then more films would come to Africa and come to Uganda in particular. They wouldn't have to take them to, to I don't know, to Durban South Africa. or yes. to Malta. <coughs> you know, like they I had did a situation, uh, Katu, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I've heard a situation of, of a film that was supposed to be shot here. I mean, Raid on in Seven Days in Entebbe, I think. Mm -hmm. And it ended up in Malta when it could have been shot here in Uganda, you know, with the real Entebbe. With um, Ugandan, and, Ugandan actors. With Ugandan, yeah. Ugandan actors and, actors and stuff. And, and that would have brought a lot of revenue, not just to, you know, a crew, but also to the, the people in general, the Wanaichi in general, because as a, when a film comes to town, it employs everybody from, from, from you know, crew members. It's a whole to, ecosystem. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a whole, whole ecosystem. ecosystem you know, I think, I think it's also a bit of a mindset, you know, um, it, this this whole film thing, yeah. this whole uh, sports thing, this yeah. whole the whole entertainment scene, the whole is, arts. Thing yes, now, it's you know general. we're only one generation deep. If you look at our parents, uh, the, you know them. It's you know you have to go to school and, and be if a you, lawyer, you know, finish, doctor, and yeah, because but I, I I empathize with them because you know you want your children to be safe. Yes, one day you won't be there. So yeah. if they're busy experimenting with their lives, it can be a bit scary. Yeah. Uh, in, if you look in America, it's only there three, four generations before they actually went into that sort of business. Mm -hmm. And Hollywood grew. Hollywood is a 1930s affair, 1920s affair. And even then, it wasn't lucrative like it is now. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we have some, some time to grow. But I think it, it takes a change <coughs> of mindset yes. to see people um, making a living out of it. So, okay, 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 okay. These people, you know, you, yeah. you know like even some of the... Uh, actors and actresses, producers and writers who have Ugandan affiliations or are Ugandan, like Kaluya, uh, Florence Kasumba, Intari mm -hmm. um, Mwine, you know, when you see them successful, it was okay, 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 fair, fair enough. Yeah. You know, now I can send my child to film school, like Sharp went to. Yeah. So then you start to have a, a, a broad base <coughs> of people who understand the industry and are able to create a proper industry. Yeah. Like you've given an example of something that I that just you know just stuck in my mind. You know, you talked about the stage. Yeah. You know, I think that that would be a great thing for uh, you, you know you guys in the industry and UCC to to come together, and that would be the first point of call for film financiers from abroad to come in and say, okay, give us the stage, Uganda. Yeah. Let's see what's in there. Okay. This is happening, these auditions are happening, X, Y, and Z. Yeah. And as you said, a lot of pockets, silos, um, where, uh, for example, there's a production. Yeah. Um, put out a call, you know, for actors and actresses. Mm -hmm. But one segment of the, the industry 
does not know what's going on what's in going that on, segment yeah. because they don't follow them on their pages or, or whatever it may be. There's no central point. Like right now, if I wanted to know where the auditions for anything, yeah. You that's know? why we created where do you the go? real. I know that. Where do you, that's true. Where do you where do you go? Go? I mean, yeah. there is no central point. Yes. Um, and and I think you know it would be great for us to have a central point. So Mona, tell me a bit more about your. What are you going to do after the real? You have the real. It's fifteen episodes. You say? Yes, fifteen episodes. Where are you going to air this thing? Where are you going to air? <laughs> is that a trick question? <laughs> It's a no. trick question. No, no, I'm just, I, I can't put you on the spot like that. But, <laughs> but at the end of the day, uh, what are you going to do after this? You've, you've, you've done the, the reel. Mm -hmm. uh, that's done. You're probably going to do season two. Now, after Definitely. it's been aired we'll and you've so. got yeah. all the support you need, mm -hmm. what happens next in this industry for you? Uh, uh, for me? Yes. Uh, well, I just, um, did I mention I just produced uh, um, a pilot for a different yeah. TV series? It's called Cordelia. Um, <coughs> it's, um, That's the Australian it's, one, right? Yeah, the okay. Australian guy. Uh, I just produced that too. I don't, I'm not part of the, I'm not, I don't act, but I, ju I just produced it. But um, Are you a real producer in, in, in <laughs> Sharp's interpretation? <laughs> or are you just producing, just, Sharp. just... In your interpretation, Leave me alone, my, uh, that's, that's the question that Leave should be interesting. So, it's okay, it's okay, you produced. In I your interpretation, been. you produced an episode, a series, a I, pilot, sorry. I, ha I, <laughs> I have, yes, but uh, going back to the question that you asked, what, what happens after the reel? Well, um, like I told you in the beginning, the reel, we are just trying to, um, to forefront, like what we were just talking about, like we need... Um, we need a platform, we need a stage where everyone can go to find out what is happening in our industry. And we believe... So you're going to, you're going to give us a We believe stage. at the rail, um, you're part of the rail, so mm -hmm. you know what... <laughs> you know the vision? Okay. Uh, we believe um, we actually are providing that stage. Okay. On the rail. Because um, we, um, <clears throat> we are sitting down, we are talking to all filmmakers, from the runner yes. to the EP, yes. to the executive producers. Yes. And most people actually don't really give much attention to the, to the sound people, to Adnad. Um, they don't, they don't. Who said, I love Adnad, <laughs> I, I even looked for him, I love, I love my guy. Have, yeah. have, have, you, have you talked to Adnad though? Have I spoken to have, him? Have you spoken to Adnad? Well, I can't speak to him without laughing because he's a comedian first of all. <laughs> so, uh, but I do speak to him, yes. I've known him a long time, I've known him for a long time. Yeah, but have you, have you sat down and interviewed him just like we are sitting down, me and Sharp, and you have actually... Well, I got to you the... can't ask him the question, that's not a fair oh, question yeah. because... <laughs> He, he's not the real. He's not interviewing people. Yeah, okay. So getting back to the real. Uh, <coughs> Adnan was he just, just came here to finish me this month. <laughs> exactly, right? Do you have a bad night? Or something? <laughs> Did something no, happen? No, I didn't. I was actually looking, uh, looking No, she hasn't had too. a whiskey. Okay, we're going and to do this. I asked for that. I asked for that at yeah. the beginning, and they oh, didn't give it show. to me. Yeah, oh, and they didn't okay. give it to me. Well, so I think uh, <laughs> uh, we'll have to <laughs> ask the, taking it out your chaperone. So, you know. so anyway, what, uh, what our vision is, we would like to give that stage okay. to not, to all the filmmakers in not only Uganda but East Africa and Africa in general, into yeah. uh, Africa in general. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's <coughs> what you want to do next. And that is after what, Cordelia. This, that is what I'm doing. That's what I'm focused on. That's what I'm putting putting all my energy to. Just yeah. that. And Shop, yes. I know you're doing some stuff. Uh, I know a lot of this stuff you can't talk about. Some stuff you can talk about. Yeah. And I know you're going to be a director for a long time. So <laughs> Yeah, I think this is like my... This yeah. is your calling. This you is, it is my call, yeah. Because when someone says Sharp Sewali, I just think film. If somebody told me, oh, Sharp Sewali is in... Uh, He's in the high court. I said, doing what? <laughs> shooting something. You know, shooting, I was just saying he's shooting something, or he's he's where is he in a in a national park? He must be directing something. Yeah. So in my mind, you're a director. So where do you go from here? 
I continue on being a director and I retire to a little island in Maui or somewhere like that. I'm kidding. Uh, well, I would What's like to stay in Maui. Wait, wait, can you stay here? I can stay <laughs> here, Tiana. somewhere in Bwindi. This is the island. In, uh, is here. Why do you have to go there to Thailand? I don't know. It's just, 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 it yes. sounds exotic. <laughs> yes, but if you live in Bulago, here, we can do this. Bulago thing. Island, or we can go to. Mitiana, no, where what is you place? have a whole chunk of land. Which one? <laughs> Bunyoni. <settle>. Bunyoni. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's Just beautiful. Buy an island somewhere in Bunyoni yeah, yeah, yeah. and do something like that. I, 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 I'm passionate about film. I am passionate about telling stories. And I'm going to continue to do that for the foreseeable future. I'm in the middle of, we're in the middle of developing something. Um, you met the gentleman a few weeks ago. His name is Morocco Omari. He's, yes. he's our Tell EP. me, is it Morocco Omari or Mari Morocco? Morocco Omari. So his first name is Morocco. His first name is Morocco. His surname is Omari. His, uh, yes. I was arguing with my guys. His name is Omari. <laughs> no, Morocco Omari. Okay, so anyway. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so you met Rock uh, yeah. a, few, a few weeks ago. He's our EP yes. um, on a TV show that I've been developing for a couple of years now called The Reporter. Yes. Um, and we, he came down and we, we shot, we put together the pilot and, you know, and he's going to do his EP thing. Yes. After, after we've, I'm, we're in post-production now, so he's going to do his EP thing after we, we're done. With, with with the entire thing, but uh, we shot, we had an amazing crew, and this is one of those projects like you know Mona was saying, um, just came together as a group of people who believed in what it is that we we believed in, and we worked for food and transport, um, <laughs> and and it was you know from from the actors to the crew, it, it was just an amazing team, and we had yeah, some amazing yeah. talent on the show as well. Um, Anyways, guys, and that's what we're doing. That's why we're doing. I want to wish you the best. Thank you. Congratulate you on what you've achieved to date. Thank Both you. of you are known in the industry, in the film industry, and I hope you continue to lead. Uh, Mona, thank you for coming on my show. Sharp, thank you for coming on the show. I'm really yes. grateful. And, um, you know, if there's anything we can do at UBC or the Cedric Live Show, just give us a shout. Thank you guys for coming on the show, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good.